Nice, beautiful Perth day, Baz. <laughs> Cabes. Yes. Here we are, mate. It is. Reunited, being a legend of the uh, Mighty Roos, and this year's our 150th year, so uh, it's going to be an exciting year. We're doing a few things to celebrate. I'm just pleased that um, I've been part of uh, part of it. And being 150 years, that's fantastic to think of all the players that have gone before us. Well, you know why we got you? Because apparently you played in that first game 150 years ago. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> you know, what were yeah. your memories of me as a player? Now, you can, no holds barred, mate. I know it's, you might even remember me, but just... Oh, look, I remember you. And I remember all the boys that came through at that time, and they were fantastic. Yeah. You get a bit excited, you just want to play, you get an opportunity. And I'm just pleased that I gave you that opportunity, mate. And well, I think that you played as well as you could. You did your very best, which a lot of the boys did. When I coached North, you know, that was probably one of my biggest disappointments was 83 when we were on top yeah. of that premiership table and we were the best home and away team for the year. And unfortunately, we didn't perform in the finals. How did you actually get to the club when you were a youngster? Oh, well, Ron Joseph came over and he, he came over to pick up a couple of other players. I'd said at the time that I wasn't going to go to Melbourne, so he thought I'd call in and just say hello anyway and have a chat to me. And then, of course, he gave me the story about North Melbourne, you know, being in the comp for nearly 50 years and hadn't won a premiership and they were looking for players. It had nothing to do with money. We never spoke about money in those days like they do today. So it was basically... Challenge, go, was it? Yeah, the, cha the challenge and uh, to help North Melbourne win the premiership. What was, what was a noticeable difference for you when you were there in 70 or down the bottom of the ladder and then you come back in 74 and all of a sudden the, the, the club's been totally revitalised. Pretty obvious, I mean, the club had then gone out because they'd obviously thought, well look, you know, we've really got to do something about this business about poor old North Melbourne. So then I'd obviously spoken to Alan Aylett, a great player of the North Melbourne Footy Club. He became president. They picked up Ron Barassi, who at that time was probably the best coach in Victoria. Uh, and then on top of that, they picked up Doug Wade from Geelong, Barry Davis from Essendon, John Rantel from South Melbourne and uh, they were able to get myself from WA and Malcolm Blight from South Australia. They've gone out of their way to really make an effort and so what we have to do now then as players is we've got to play really well to make it work. Without question, in my personal opinion, Keith Gregg is one of the best players I've ever seen and in my opinion through my time he was our best player. I mean he had pace, he could mark, he could kick both feet. He had everything going for him, he was, he was terrific. You are a very modest person, Gapes, yes. because I don't think people realise, you know, what you went through when you had the incident with your leg. Oh, yes. And you nearly lost your life. I was just uh, too anxious to, you know, jump on the, jump on the tractor and get it going, and, and so I cranked her up. And of course, being in front of it and close to the shed, as I cranked it, it sort of kicked in the gear and just came straight, jump, jump forward, hit me in the chest, pushed me back. At first I thought, oh, what will I do? Oh, well, I'll stand in front of this and I'll hold it off like Superman. No, that's not such a good idea. So then I stepped to the side and went bang up against the wall. Now that would have been me. And so then because I was still in shock, I went to turn off the key uh, in the front. And of course, as I did, I obviously swung my foot around and I had my runners on and the back wheel caught it and just pulled me straight underneath. You lost your calf, basically? Yeah, completely, yeah. And that Taken was... Off. It was um, what they call convulsed, which means minced out. It was minced off the bone, yeah. You know, I was in hospital for four months. Couldn't get out of bed for four months because you had to wait till it was completely sterile because it had petrol, Risk of oil, infection. yeah, all sorts of things in it. And uh, because of that, I got a bit of septicemia. Um, yeah, so I was really in trouble. On behalf of the footy club, and I'm sure all the North supporters, mate, you've been a magnificent legend of our football club. And in the 150th year, mate, we just want to um, thank you for making your time available today. Well done, mate. Thanks, mate.